Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video I am making a point to prove type of video. I'm going to be picking five Luton Town players who I believe have a point to prove for next season in the championship. But before I get on with the video guys could we drop a like on this video. Comment down below the five players which you believe have a point to prove for next year in the championship and also let me know down below do you like agree with the five players which I've picked who have a point to prove for next season. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, guys, if you would like to become a member of my channel, I'll leave a link down below and you get exclusive perks if you want to become a member. Right, so let's get on with the video. So like I said, I'm going to pick five Luton Town players. And yeah, let me know down below, like I've said, if you agree with the five players which I've picked. So the first player which I believe has a point to prove is Sluga. Now, the reason why I say Sluga has a point to prove is because last season was a mixed like season for Sluga. He started the season like really poor, but he ended the season quite well. Next season, he needs to be more consistent. He needs to make sure he's cutting out those like silly mistakes which he is making. He needs to become more solid, more clean sheets. Like for me, I feel like a goalkeeper needs to get more clean sheets than he did the previous season, or like stand out, make more saves, need to do a little bit more. And that's what I believe Sluga needs to do. He needs to basically cut out these mistakes. Don't cost us points, earn us points. And a goalkeeper can do that by keeping clean sheets and making very good saves. Like he did towards the end of last season. He was very important. He made very good saves. Can we see that throughout the whole season? And I think that's what we want. But if Sluga can't do that, then... I think it's time to see the likes of Shea either back in like the net or we bring in another goalkeeper who can actually do that job. So next season, it's a big year for Sluga. He's going to be on the Nathan Jones, like obviously for, you would hope for the whole season. So hopefully we see a better Sluga like for next season. Nathan, he loves to improve players, so hopefully we do see a better Sluga. And he understands the way Nathan likes to play his football, you know, playing out from the back. Can he adapt to that? So it's a big year for Sluga. The second player which I believe has a point to prove in this Luton team is Matty Pearson. Now, everyone wants Carter Vickers to come back um, for Luton. And if Carter Vickers does come back, then he would walk straight into that first 11, which does mean Pearson won't be playing. Carter Vickers plays on the right of the defence, so that does mean Pearson won't play for next season because it will likely be Sonny Bradley and Carter Vickers. For me, Pearson has a point to prove because he wasn't the best last season. I think he was one of our worst defenders, in my honest opinion. Stats don't lie, and according to certain stats... He was one of the worst like, defenders in the championship. That's not really a good stat to have. So next season, he really does need to improve. He needs to cut out those mistakes. Pearson, he's an old school defender. But for me, he has a massive point to prove. I do believe Bradley is better than Pearson. That's why I believe Bradley will be in the starting eleven a lot more than Pearson will be next season. But what goes in Pearson's favour a little bit is that he can play right back in some games. I don't really like Pearson playing right back. Sometimes he's good. I think it just depends on what type of team you are playing against. But for me, if a quick, skillful, like winger attacking player runs at Pearson, I think you're only going to get one answer, and that is he's going to go past Pearson. But if we're playing against a team which is more like direct route one type of football, then you need to have physical players on the pitch, and Pearson is perfect for that because he's very dominant in the air. He likes those aerial battles. He's strong. Like I said, he's old school, so he does those physical things on the football pitch which you don't want to do but Pearson will do it and he will put his body on the line however I just don't think he's good enough for the championship but he needs to prove it for next season because like I said we want Carter Vickers to come back I'm pretty sure that we are going to sign a defender so competition will be happening next season especially at the back last season we didn't have that competition 
now we are going to have it because Nathan Jones likes to have two players competing in every position. So Pearson has got to up his game for next season, in my personal opinion. Now, the third player, which I believe has a point to prove, is O'Kane. Now, O'Kane hasn't featured like for us since we signed him in January. This is because he's still recovering from his like leg break, which he actually did with us back in League One. Now, the reason why I say O'Kane has a point to prove is because an injury like that can obviously set you back and it can mean that you're not at that same level which you were before that injury. So O'Kane has a point to prove because he needs to prove that he can still play at that championship level despite having that serious like injury which he did with us back in League One. I do like O'Kane and I do think he can play for us week in, week out in the championship. But like I said, it just depends. Can he come back from that injury very well? Is he doing the right things in training? I'm looking forward to seeing him back in that starting eleven, playing week in, week out in the championship. It's just like, can he do it? Can he compete? Can he be the same player? Because if he can't, then obviously he's going to be playing League One football next year because he obviously can't compete at that same level which he could do before the injury. You can also say the same thing about Galloway, but because Galloway is still young, he still has plenty of time to overcome that injury, where O'Kane is at that age now where he's kind of in his prime, so he really needs to make sure that he recovers really well from this injury and get back playing and competing and obviously, like I said, proving that he's a championship player. Now, the fourth player which I'm picking who I think has a point to prove for next season in the championship is Elliot Lee. Now, the reason why I say Elliot Lee is because he hasn't played like all season. He only played when Nathan Jones came back as manager. And obviously, those nine games were very important. And if obviously Nathan Jones didn't come back, then Elliot Lee wouldn't have signed a new deal. 100%. If Graham Jones was in charge, Elliot Lee would definitely have not have signed a new deal. So Elliot Lee next season needs to prove that he actually can play in the championship. I think he proved in those nine games that he can do a good job. However, can he do it throughout the whole season? Can he score goals? Can he get assists? That's what we want from Elliot Lee. We want him scoring goals. We want him getting assists. We want him performing really well. I like Elliot Lee. He's very hard to get the ball off. He's very good at protecting the ball. Wins a lot of fouls. So I do believe we can get the best out of Elliot Lee, especially with Nathan Jones in charge. He does get the best out of players. So hopefully, and fingers crossed, next season, Elliot Lee can perform really well and do it over the course of the season. Now, when Nathan Jones has been the manager in the past and we've had Elliot Lee, Elliot Lee it sometimes has a 50-50 season. It's He starts well, but then he finishes poorly. In League One, he was the same. He started really well, but then he got that injury, came back from that injury, wasn't quite the same player. So hopefully, in the Championship, we see a consistent Elliot Lee. And the final player, which I believe has a point to prove in the Championship, is Danny Hilton. Now, Danny is at that age now where he's very lucky he got a two-year deal, in my personal opinion. Over the last two years, Danny has had injuries and suspensions, which has obviously left him out of that starting eleven. But before those injuries and suspensions, he was playing week in, week out for us, scoring a lot of goals for us, and he proved that he is a really good striker. However, he needs to prove that he's a championship striker. He's never played in the championship before. Obviously, those nine games, he looked quite decent, if I'm honest. He should have scored a few times, but hopefully he can do it in the championship at his age, it can be done. I know Billy Sharp like for Sheffield United was scoring goals for fun at Danny's age in the championship. So it, you can do it. There's no like excuses not to do it despite your age. Age is not that important as long as you like can compete at the level which you are playing at. But if he doesn't have a good like first full season in the championship, then there's going to be a lot of question marks whether or not he can do it in the year after. So... That could mean replacements will come in for him or we'll try and sell him on and get rid of him. So Danny does need to prove next year that he can compete at this level, he can score goals at this level and he can like become a handful 
for other teams because I know he can because he's a different type of striker to Collins. Although their playing style is quite the same, they are different in certain aspects. I do believe Danny is better at doing certain things than James Collins, but then I do believe James Collins is better than Danny at doing certain things, you know, vice versa. So, fingers crossed, next season in the championship, Danny can prove that he is a championship striker. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. I've picked five players there, which I do believe have a point to prove for next season in the championship. We have Sluger, we have Pearson, we have O'Kane, Elliot Lee, and Danny Hilton. So hopefully those five players next season prove that they are good enough to obviously become championship players and also have better seasons than they did the year before. So if you did enjoy that video guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. Comment down below the five players which you believe have a point to prove for next season. Also let me know, do you agree with the five players which I've picked already? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Like I said, if you want to become a member, the link is down below. Follow me across all my like social media if you haven't done already and I'll see you guys in the next video.